Hello, welcome to How to Survive in a Bad Economy with our host, Charlie Grant, speaker, trainer, and author. Hello, and welcome to another edition of How to Survive in a Bad Economy. I'm your host, Charlie Grant. Our co-host for today's show will be Ulysses Cooper from Ferris State University, Kevin Logan, Bowie State University, and Matthew C. Horn, Coastal Carolina University. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fantastic, explosive show for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Our goal is simply to share with you strategies, techniques, and tips on how to survive, thrive, but keep that dream alive in these economic times, ladies and gentlemen. Even in an economy like this, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to be motivated, it's time to be educated, and it's time to be celebrated. So our topic for today's show, ladies and gentlemen, will simply be motivation and education being the perfect combination. And what better guest to have today, ladies and gentlemen, on our show today, one of the top motivational speakers in the world, Willie Jolly. Yes, Willie Jolly will be with us today, ladies and gentlemen. Also, our soloist will be Savanya. And after her next selection, ladies and gentlemen, the show will begin. Don't you go anywhere. And in truth, the oh Lord, in spirit and in truth, I will worship you, O oh Lord, in spirit and in truth. Spirit and in truth, the oh Lord, in spirit and in truth, I will praise your name, spirit and in truth. I will praise your name in spirit and in truth. You can put your hands together out there. I'm gonna worship you in spirit and in truth. Oh yes, I will. Yes, I will. Oh, listen, singing unto the Lord with a new song he has done marvelous things the victory he's won make a joyful noise unto the lord in all the earth and rejoice spirit i'm gonna worship you in spirit and in truth I will, oh yes, I will, oh yes, with a grateful heart I'll enter into your gates, in your courts I'll bless and praise your holy name, you are so faithful and you are true. And that's why I will forever worship you. Oh, I will worship you in spirit and in truth. Oh, yeah, yeah. I will. Oh, yes, I will. You seek who will kneel and worship you, and those who will give to you all the honor. Why? Because you deserve it, Lord. Take glory, dominion, and power. To you, glory, dominion, and power be unto you. Hey, you get all the glory, you reign forever. Be unto you, 
Welcome back to How to Survive in a Bad Economy. Ladies and gentlemen, our goals are to simply share with you strategies, techniques, and tips on how to survive, thrive, but keep the dream alive in these economic times, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, our crew for today, uh, we have to our left right here, our motivational speaker, trainer, and youth advocate, Kevin Logan. Also, we have Matthew C. Horn, motivational speaker, trainer, and author. Then we have Ulysses Cooper, motivational speaker, trainer, and real estate tycoon. And myself, Charlie Grant, a motivational speaker, trainer, and author. Uh, we're very grateful and thankful that you decided to join us on today's show. Uh, our topic for today's show is simply motivation and education being the perfect combination. Gentlemen, let's get right down to it. Kevin, why is motivation and education a perfect combination in economic times such as these? Well, I think you've got the opportunity to take two words, motivation, which is putting things in motion, and education, which is to learn, and bring them together to really create something dynamic for yourself that you can go out and use. You know, it's been said that we already have everything inside of us to make it. So all we have to do is put it in and use the action, put it in motion, what we've learned, and there we are, we're on our way. Great, great. Matthew, how in an economic time such as these, how can motivation and education be that perfect combination? Motivation and education is that perfect combination because when we really examine them, they're the perfect complement to one another. When we get motivated, that gets us up, out, and moving towards something, but it's an entity that has a hard time lasting, you know, oftentimes. So it's not just about being motivated, it's about educating yourself. Because when you educate yourself to do something, it removes the barriers. And then we see it as being possible. It's human nature to only put our energy into things that we believe are possible. So we get motivated to get started, but we get educated to make it to the finish line. Great, great, great. Ulysses, why? In economic times such as these, as people are losing houses, cars are being repossessed, jobs are being lost, the stock market still is going down, very volatile. How can motivation and education be a perfect combination? Well, Charlie, you know today's appearance is your yesterday lifestyle experience. All right. See, you have to be motivated to keep that habit of educating yourself. So that's why it's the perfect combination. Fantastic, fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, talking about motivation and education being the perfect combination in economic times like these. That's why we have today, ladies and gentlemen, a very, very, very special guest, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to introduce to this gentleman. He's a giant of a man, ladies and gentlemen. He's been called the most powerful speaker, singer, and of the combination in the world. In 1999, he was known and ranked as the top five speakers in the world, along with people such as uh, Margaret Thatcher, Colin Powell, as well as Nelson Mandela. In 2005, he was inducted into the Speaker's Hall of Fame. Even Success Magazine stated him being the king of comebacks, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a mover and a shaker. He's a motivator. He's a team player. My good friend and my mentor, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to some and I present to others all the way from Washington, D.C., Willie Jolly. Willie Jolly. Show your love. Show your love. Thank you, thank you, all right. Thank you. All right. 
gentlemen, gentlemen. Right, nice to have you. Oh, just a right. privilege and a pleasure Bye. to be in your presence. Thank you so much. Thank you, Charlie Grant. Thank you for having me. You're a gentleman and a scholar, and I am. I'm honored that I am. Uh, I happen to be in uh, your book. Oh, yes. I, I'm oh, a, yes. a part of this this team that's going to do great things. How to survive in a bad economy. Yes. Charlie Grant, I'm yes. so proud yes. of you. Well, thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you sir. Thank you. Thank you. And matter of fact, in economic times like these, I'm so grateful to you uh, for one of your greatest books, A Setback is a Setup for a Comeback. Uh, when economic times got tough for me, I listened to that every day. And that was such a powerful, powerful tool to allow me to even think about developing a book, to develop a TV show such as this. So, so tell us, Willie, how does it feel to be ranked or to be awarded an award like an award that a Nelson Mandela, a, 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 a Colin Powell, Margaret Thatcher, how does it feel? To it's an attitude of gratitude. Yeah. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to do what I do. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to, to have an impact on people. And really, your impact in, it creates your, your income. Mm -hmm. And so the more impact you can have, whatever it is you do. And so when people are going through tough times, and I've, I've had tough times, and, and many of the people who are written about in the books have inspired me. I was a nightclub singer mm -hmm. who got fired or replaced by a karaoke machine, mm -hmm. broke, busted, and disgusted, and trying to figure out what I was going to do with my life. And I started speaking to little kids about staying away from drugs and to making wise choices and, to, and pursuing academic excellence. And it was out of that that the teachers would say, wow, that was incredible what you did with our kids. They sat and listened. They clapped. Can you come to our teachers association? And I said, well, I, I guess I could. And I go in and speak to the teachers association. And someone there would say, can you come to my, my, my church? And, okay. and I go to their church. And someone in the congregation would say, can you come to my company? Wow. And it continued to mm. grow. And then, as you know, Les Brown heard about the fact that right, I mixed right. music and motivation. Mm -hmm. And he invited me to be on tour with him and his wife at that time, Gladys mm. Knight, mm -hmm. which would allow me to get national exposure. Wow. And then I got a little radio show. Okay. And the radio show okay. got got popular and got mm -hmm. syndicated and wow. now you can hear it in Washington on WHUR uh -huh. every day okay. which led to Channel 9 every day at, at, at 630 every morning in uh -huh. uh, CBS television and uh -huh. then uh, XM radios on the weekend on Channel 169 uh -huh. on Saturdays from 2 to 4 and it just exploded and then a book publisher heard about the radio show, mm -hmm. listened in, and called and said, I love that message. Have okay. you ever thought about writing a book? Okay. I said, no, I never thought about it. <laughs> right. He said, let me make you an offer. Mm -hmm. I said, I just thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> and the first book came out, you. it only takes a minute to change your life. Okay. Became a bestseller. Uh, now over half a million copies worldwide. Wow. Then the second book, A Setback is a Setup for a Comeback, uh -huh. which Bishop Jakes and Joel Osteen and all the preachers have been preaching wow. and have made Powerful. it into a big bestseller. And Powerful. then... Chicken Soup for the Christian Soul came out, where I'm featured on the front wow, cover powerful. with uh, Joyce Meyer. Okay. And then my newest book, Turn Your Setbacks into Greenbacks. Oh, yeah. How oh, to, yeah. How to like get that. through the tough times. I like that. Seven secrets for Ooh. going up and down time. So wow. music, I got uh -huh. my youth videos and music, and that all wow. happened because I had a setback. Uh -huh. And that mm. I learned the power and impact can impact your income. So I'm saying to people who might have lost their homes, lost their jobs, lost their cars, lost their house, okay. lost their life savings, uh -huh. don't throw in the towel. That's right, that's right. Get a mindset uh -huh. that I'm going to grow my skill set. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grow. And I love what the gentleman said about the fact that it's about education and motivation. Uh -huh. One without the other is incomplete. That's right. We know the, to be a motivational speaker mm -hmm. and just give a lot of rah-rah is fine, but uh -huh. it's incomplete. Right. You right. have to have motivation with practical mm -hmm. steps because mm -hmm. people need to know how to get there right. and so what I've learned over the years is that